Hey there and welcome to episode three of Transit Trends. I'm Erica Brennis. So today we're talking about technology and transportation and the entrepreneurs behind the two because as we know, the two are quickly becoming one in the same. So how can tech savvy innovators cash in on becoming part of the solution to our transportation issues? So I wanna bring in Jeff Wood, my co-host, to talk more about this. Yeah, transportation is really hot right now. I think that's the next big frontier in technology is the transportation edge. Uh, I think even more than apps and biotech and things like that, it's gonna be the next big thing because everybody's gotta get somewhere. All right, so Jeff, let's talk about some of the ways that technology has changed the world of transportation already in, I don't know, the last one to five years. So the big one, let's start with it, it's Uber and Lyft, which has not only changed how we get around, it's changing the way we eat, among many other things. You know, they're just bringing food right to our doorstep, which I don't mind. Uh, there's autonomous vehicles. There are driverless cars on the road right now, and there are many more coming sooner than probably most Americans can truly comprehend at this point. Uh, there's also mobile ticketing, so now we can get right onto the bus or the railway or the subway or whatever with our phones. So Jeff, mass transportation is also really benefiting from all these technological advances. Yeah, for sure. There's a couple of things that are big advancements. First off is there's self-driving buses that are going to be starting operating in the Netherlands in May. That's going to be a really exciting development. But there's also the smaller things like smart cards and the ability to find out when your next bus is coming. So. The smart card thing is really awesome because you know buses are always crowded and you're always waiting for people to tap in to, to pay their money to get on the bus. But the thing is, is that when you have the kind of fare cards that we have now, you can actually let people get in the back door without having to worry about waiting in line to get on the bus, which speeds up the bus uh, you know, a huge amount. During South by Southwest 2016, we sat down with Ted Zerbinski. He's the Managing Director of Techstars Mobility, which provides mentorship and financial support to entrepreneurs in the transportation technology industry. We look for companies building technologies and services that help people move around more freely. And there are a lot of those kind of companies. Transportation, I think, is, is one of the most disruptive things coming. The difference is people know it's coming. So when we look at like the, the PC boom in the 80s and 90s, no one really knew what that was going to be. And then the internet and now mobile apps and social apps. It kind of took off before people really knew what was coming and the disruption. It's such a hot topic because there's a lot of money being invested in the industry and a lot of money to be made. Morgan Stanley ran another analysis. If you look at the buying and selling of cars, maintaining of cars, time spent behind the wheel, $14 trillion industry. So literally it's a trillion dollar opportunity that everyone has that problem every day. They're sitting in traffic, how do they move around more freely is becoming just very apparent. It's something entrepreneurs have their eyes on across the world. People in South America have different mobility challenges than people in the U.S., which is different than Europe and different in Asia. And I think we're seeing technology being applied in a lot of different use cases. Um, for instance, I, I was talking to a company last week in Argentina, and they have issues around data around buses and like what buses are open, um, when's the next bus arriving, and to, to us in America, that might seem like we've kind of figured some of that out. Buses aren't as big here, but in South America, it's a massive problem. We were talking to a company, I also talked to a company in Africa, and they have significant traffic issues. And they have um, mobile phones, but they're flip phones. Mm -hmm. And so how do you use text messaging to alert people of traffic when you're in these tiny roads with significant traffic issues and it's just fascinating to see technology being adapted in different use cases in different parts of the world. And that technology opens up the window to data and analytics, as well as the connected car. Also, we need to discuss at some point uh, the move towards autonomous vehicles and what that means for the built environment. I know that there, there was an article yesterday by Lloyd Alter that talked about how Basically, it's possible that in the future we might see grade separated cities where pedestrians are separated away from the cars and that what that means for the built environment and urban form and us walking and our health and all those things that we really care about. So, you know, 
there's a, a change coming, a big change coming, but at the same time, you know, we have to think about what the negative aspects of that change are as well. You know, Jeff, I'm not gonna lie, it was really challenging to sort of narrow the focus on this topic uh, for this episode because there is so much happening with tech and transportation. I know this is gonna be only the beginning, but things are changing literally right now in how we move as we speak and as you watch this video. That does it for episode three, but don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Jeff, you also have your daily newsletter that is a really great resource. How do people subscribe to that? Yeah, you can go to the directtransfer.com and in the top right corner, click on the subscribe button. If you have any ideas for topics for the show, send them our way. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Till then.